This is a discussion about why 0 0.999 recurring is not equal to 1, and also why recurrence is generally not a valid notation in uh, the decimal number system. Well, firstly, uh, Cantor defined the countable set as being a set X where every member of X is mapped by an injective function into the set of natural numbers. And the set of natural numbers, of course, is the set of positive integers starting with 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, infinitely. It's important to note that uh, the set of natural numbers has what's called a unit interval, and the unit interval is the same between each number. And of course, that value of the unit interval is 1 in the case of the set of natural numbers. But a countable set uh, simply needs to have some way uh, of mapping the members of its set into the set of natural numbers. Uh, and this must be done with a one-way function uh, such that there cannot be more than one way to represent any number in x uh, or of x in n. And for example, I've set out in diagrammatic form how this might be represented. So on the left-hand side, we have a set with three members, a, b, and c, called x. In the middle, we have the set of natural numbers represented by the numbers starting at zero and going on infinitely. Uh, and then on the right-hand side, the set Y, which includes the uh, point of this discussion, the number 0 0.999 recurring, as well as the number 1. Now, we can see that the set X has mapped uh, the values A, B and C to the natural numbers 1, 2 and 3, respectively. And uh, this is consistent with an injective function, and therefore x is countable. However, y has mapped 0 0.999 recurring and 1 to the natural number 1. And this violates the requirement for an injective function to map the members of y to the set of natural numbers n. Therefore, y is not a countable set. Now, there is no need for any further discussion. Uh, it is simply not possible to count with a set of numbers that includes the number 0 0.999 recurring and the number 1. OK, that's it. End of discussion. So, now let's move on to the matter of recurrence. If, as we have seen, the use of 0 0.999 recurring is not valid, then we should question, well, is any use of recurrence valid? And very quickly, we'll find out why it isn't. Firstly, the decimal position notation system requires that each position of each digit has a particular meaning, and uh, that meaning is very clearly defined. Now, digits to the right-hand side of the decimal point have a diminishing value in orders of magnitude corresponding to the base of that number system. And if we have an infinite number of these digits, then we're not only saying something about the accuracy of uh, our number, but we're also saying something about the unit interval, because as the accuracy increases, then the idea of ordinality dictates that the unit interval will become progressively smaller and smaller and smaller until finally, at infinity, the unit interval becomes zero. Now, when the unit interval is zero, what you're left with is a number system in which every number in that set uh, maps to zero, because the unit interval is zero. And if every number is zero, then how can you count with it? So again, there's 
no need for any further argument. Uh, I have proved by simple absurdity already that um, recurrence is not a valid representation in the decimal positional number system. And that is regardless of which base you choose for that number system. Instead, I would refer you to the area of mathematics concerned with analytic continuation, uh, but from my point of view and for the work I do, uh, I deal in discrete mathematics and countable sets, and that's all I know.